Mostly students are familiar with the quadratic formula. Today we're going to discuss the nature of the roots of the quadratic equation. So basically, nature of the roots of the quadratic equations depends upon the factor b squared minus 4ac. And we will discuss how this depends upon b squared minus 4ac. This factor b squared minus 4ac is known as discriminant. Okay, let's discuss how, how nature of the roots of the quadratic equation depends upon b square minus 4ac. Let's say we have a positive number, any positive real number under the radical. And you know that x equals negative b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac over 2a gives us the roots of the quadratic equation. Those roots, we will discuss that what types of uh, those roots can be. It, it, it really depends upon b squared minus 4ac. So let's take one example. We have b squared minus 4ac equals, let's say it's 5, 6, 7, any positive real number. Like it's, let's say it's 9. And B and A and C, these are all the constant numbers. If you would plug in 9 under the radical, you would get negative B plus minus 3 over 2A. So this is, this is not a problem that B and A would affect on the roots we know that A and B are simply real numbers. So after plugging in 9 under the radical, we are getting like a term negative B plus minus 3 over 2A. It means that we would get we would get some real numbers because B and A are also real number. So we would get two different real numbers. Why would we get two different real numbers? Because of plus and minus. For plus, we have a single number, any real number, and for negative, we would, we would get another real number. So we can conclude that if b squared minus 4ac is positive, the roots would be real and unequal, unequal mean different roots, real and unequal. This is the first conclusion. Okay, second, let's say if b squared minus 4ac is less than zero. Less than zero means a negative number. If we put a negative number under the radical, what would happen? Let's say we have negative b plus minus under root, let's say it's negative 3. A negative number under the radical over 2a. a and b are any real number. Let's say b is, let's say it's 1, and a is 2, it would be 4, let's say, under root negative 3. So under root negative 3, we know that under root negative 3 is a complex number that is called a 3 aorta. And we are getting negative 1 plus minus 3 aorta. That is, under, sorry, under 3 aorta. Yeah, under 3 aorta over 4. It means that we can conclude that if b squared minus 4 ac would be less than 0, the roots would be imaginary. We can say that imaginary or complex roots. And obviously, those roots would be unequal as well because of plus minus. This is the second con conclusion that if the root, if the, if the discriminant would be less than zero, the roots would be complex or imaginary and unequal. The third conclusion. Let's say b square minus 4ac equals zero. 
if p squared minus 4 ac equals 0, the overall term under the radical, including radical, would be 0 and plus minus would not affect on the roots, so the roots would be equal. Roots would be equal. The fourth conclusion. Fourth conclusion is that if b square minus 4 ac is a perfect square, in some cases, and in some cases, b square minus 4 ac is not a perfect square. If it, it, it's perfect square, let's say, under the radical, we have 49. So it would be under root 49. And this perfect square would finish the square root and we would get 7. Well, I just say it would be negative plus minus 7 over 2a. Means we, would, we are getting we are getting real number, but we can say that these are rational numbers in terms of p over q we would get obviously we would get rational number in terms of p over q and if under the radical we have a number that is not a perfect square let's say we have 11 under the radical this is not a perfect square so we would get the roots like negative b plus minus under root 11 over 2a. So we can't simplify this radical. We can finish the ra radical. So it means that we are getting the root. The, the, these roots are real, but we can say that these roots are irrational. Because uh, irrational, irrational numbers are in the form of under root P, like P are the prime numbers, like under root 3, under root 2, 3 under root 11, these are all irrational numbers. So we are getting uh, irrational roots if under the radical we would have a number that, that is not a perfect square. Okay, I'm repeating four or five conclusions. If the discriminant is positive, the roots are real and unequal. If the discriminant is negative, less than zero, the roots would be complex or imaginary and unequal. If the discriminant is equal to zero, the roots are equal and real. And if the discriminant is perfect square, the roots would be rational. If it's not, then the roots would be irrational. Hope it makes sense.